speaking of winter, speaking of who cares what the weather does, <laughs> we want to have fun anyway. That's right. Winterfest 2024. Yeah. So last year, you're coming off a really good um, year last year. Yeah. There was tons of recognition for how great it was. Yeah. That must have felt good. It was great. Yeah. Like we've been, you know, it's a partnership, a co-production with the city. And so we were really pleased to bring home some awards for them last year. We won two awards from the Festival of Events Ontario. We were top 100 in Ontario and sponsor of the year with uh, Hamilton Oshawa Port Authority. So we we're wow. really glad to have that. Yeah. Wow. I imagine that the, on the last day, you probably took one day break and went right back at it to plan for this year. Yeah, you do. I mean, and, and like when, when the, the event ends for the audience, we go into post-production. We have to take it all apart. <laughs> we have to get all those rental items back. We have to get all our gear back to our shop and cleaned up and stuff. So it doesn't really end for us for a few weeks after. There's a bunch of accounting and all that kind of dry stuff. But then you collapse for about a week or two, and then you start planning the next one right away. You're yeah. talking like a man who's forgotten he's wearing a knitted hat. <laughs> These are every year we get um, a pass more handmade who's an artist, Rebecca from Stony Creek to knit 200 or crochet 200 hats for us for all of our volunteers and staff. So this year we went a little bit kooky. We added some strings and a bobble. And so uh, everybody's going to be wearing those? So like everyone that you see on site that's one of our volunteers or one of our staff are wearing these in their different colors depending on whether they're staff or volunteers. And it just helps us keep track of who's on our team, but it also keeps everybody warm. Sometimes volunteers don't show up with all their bits and pieces. So <laughs> it's like we know everybody's at least got a warm hat on. So. It's great. What a great idea. It, 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 it identifies yeah. you and is, exactly. has a practical purpose. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got all the great awards. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this year's going to be bigger and better than ever. You're holding it on top of Jackson Square? Yeah, well, partly? There's, yeah. so there's like 70 events across the city run by all sorts of different organizations, you know, libraries and museums and community groups and whatnot. And then Cobalt Connects programs, two things, um, at Jackson Square. We were at Jackson Square last year up on the roof. And if you haven't been to the roof of Jackson Square, it's amazing. Good. It's got so many little pockets for artists to respond to. So we've got giant art installations up there, lights all over the place, three free concerts, a drag show, and a Valentine's Day event, and then a huge family day party. And then our audience last year said, we love that, but we want something inside. Weather in February can be... Who knows? <laughs> so they said, if we're driving in from somewhere, we want this indoor thing. So we created this indoor space called Pop, which is this 10,000 square foot sort of fun zone. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. So it's the, a former bank inside the mall, um, right across from TD. And it's video games, pinball machines, giant stuffed animal collections, things like G.I. Joe and My Little Pony and Barbie. We've got six holes of mini putt designed by young architects from Hamilton. Uh, a whole pile of crazy stuff. So it's this like silly fun zone. So you pay the admission to go in, you get free, free Roma pizza, cotton candy, and there's a gift shop that's like no other gift shop you've seen in this city before. So it's pretty exciting stuff. It's amazing and yeah. easy to find because if I'm not mistaken, that spot you're talking about is is close to the entrance, right? Yeah, it's like right at the entrance. So King and McNabb, right where the transit terminal is, uh, that's where Pop is located, right on the street side. Perfect. Yeah. You mentioned the um, the Family Day thing, so let's yeah. get into some more details about that. Yeah, Family Day last year was, um, everything last year was an experiment, but Family Day last year we partnered up with the Art Gallery of Hamilton and the Hamilton Public Library. The event was sponsored by Insight Foundation, which it is again this year, and it was, we had 6,000 people come out to Family Day last year. It was the most people that went to the AGH in one day ever. It was a lineup down the street, and it's so free events at the AGH, pop is open, stuff on the rooftop is open. Um, the folks at the AGH have created these interactive activities that respond to the large artworks that we've commissioned up on the roof. How? Like, to also, it's, they've got amazing programming people, and that's why we partner with the library and the AGH. They've got people that know how to program for kids, so... Uh, it'd be great if I did it, but it's way better that they do it. <laughs> um, so we've got music all day. We've got mime shows. We've got puppet shows. We've got book readings. Uh, just like, so much stuff. And it's, all, and it's all free up on the roof. So like the only thing you'd ever have to pay for is a hot chocolate, which is $2. And everything else is free. So it's just a crazy fun zone for kids up on the roof.